This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Let's explore how straightforward and easy to understand the addition of charts to a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation actually is. Well, let's use the Italia vacation destination file that's in your working folder for this particular lesson. And we're at the beginning, we're at slide one, and we'd like to add a slide that's gonna tell us the variations in the temperature across the year. So the first thing is we'd like a new slide. So in the new slide little drop down box, we need to choose a slide that will allow us to place a chart on that slide. And really we have this one, this one, this one, and this one. These are the ones that have content areas. So if we'd like the graph to fill most of the slide, we would choose this one, title and content. So choosing that, we get our new slide. It's inserted here after the slide we were on, which was the title slide. We then have two boxes, click to add title, weather temperature and in the bottom half here because we're looking to add a graph we choose this option here in the middle insert chart one click opens the insert chart dialog box i then need to choose the chart type now they're broken into categories column there's various different column shapes squares cylinders pyramids 3d styles then there are a section of line graphs then there are some pie charts then some bars, which are effectively our columns, but coming out the side. Then some area graphs, X, Y scatters, stock, surface, donut, bubble, and radar. Now you can jump down to each of these categories by choosing the category option on the left here. And you see it just takes you to the same place as scrolling up and down does anyway. Let's stay with a line chart for this particular graph. And we'll choose the first option, which is a straightforward line chart. OK, what you'll then find is your screen splits in two and on the left you can see your chart over here and on the right what's happened is PowerPoint has actually opened up the data file that feeds that graph in an embedded Excel file. So on the right here you're actually looking at Excel and this information here contained in the blue rectangle is actually the data currently feeding your graph. Now we can resize it if the series and categories aren't enough so I can go up or I can go down and you'll see the graph responding on the left here instantly. Now what I'm actually after are 12 months. And I want to go from January down to December. And you can do that by typing January, grabbing the corner handle. Let's just do a little undo so you can see that in action again. So it's January it has to be typed in. The fill handle here in the corner, grab hold of that and drag down until you get to December. Now that's not a PowerPoint trick, that's an Excel trick. Then we're interested in entering the temperature values. I'm going to put F for Fahrenheit there. And then we'll enter the average values in Fahrenheit for each particular month. Now obviously if you were going to do this as a correct presentation, you would put some thought and effort into actually obtaining the correct values rather than just making them up as you go along. I don't need this information here, so I can highlight and delete that. And I've entered my Fahrenheit values for each month of the year. The graph on the left here you can see has responded. Now once I'm finished editing the data, in this case entering the data in the first place, I will just close Excel up here. So this is the upper cross that closes Excel and brings you back into your PowerPoint chart. You have a graph on your chart. Let's just run through that process again. So we need to go to the home ribbon, a new slide, choose one of the slides that is going to contain your chart. So it will depend on the size of the chart you're hoping for. Let's choose the full slide one again. Come down to the middle where the options are and choose the insert chart option. And then choose your chart type. Let's choose a 3D exploded pie this time. Having chosen your chart type, you click OK. That's when the screen does the split in two bit. You can see the exploded pie here. And here's your chart data. I'm going to call this food type. And these quarters will become different food types. We have pasta, pizza, vegetables, rice, 
tick doubles. And you can see that as I type the fifth item in there, the blue area, which is the data area, has self-expanded. And into here, I will then type the amount of each food type that could be eaten in a day. So 500 grams of pasta, 250 grams of pizza, 200 grams of vegetables, very little rice, 10 grams of rice, and very few potatoes, 50 grams of potatoes. And you can see on the chart that the graph has responded. Having entered the data, I then close the Excel file there. It turns me to PowerPoint and I can see my chart in place. So I have a pie chart and a line chart.